You mean to tell me you were in jail? In jail. Your roommate was talking in the toilet. Talking and I in think the you're toilet. gonna. I think you need to show me how that worked. Take all the water, you dump it out. Take the towel, wipe it out. Get you some paper. And you just say it. Hello. Brings a whole new meaning to the term cell phone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Your Honor. That is the original cell phone. She's the judge who gives rules on the law and life. She's intense with common sense. She's Judge Lynn Toller on Divorce Court, where real couples deal with real life. Charlotte and Nathaniel met and fell in love 13 years ago when they both were in jail. Charlotte says Nathaniel stole her heart through the prison toilet. But during their six years of marriage, that wasn't the only thing he stole. I want the world to know my husband, Nathaniel, is a liar, a thief, and a cheat. I want him gone, and I want to feel vindicated. I'm here today because I'm tired of being bossed around, controlled, told what to do by my wife. Charlotte says she is ready to break out of this marriage for good. Today on Divorce Court. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Charlotte Robinson and Nathaniel Smith and the toilet. I was gonna, I was not gonna say anything, but it's right there. I'd have to acknowledge its presence because it would be absurd if I did not. And you're yes. gonna tell me why you have rolled the toilet into the courtroom a little later on. The two of you have been together for 13, but married for the last six. You have been separated, however, for one year. Ms. Robinson, you are suing Mr. Smith, seeking $6,500 because you say that during their relationship, he ha has stolen a number of items from you and they yes, total $6,500. Yes, Before we get into that, however, Ms. Robinson, I want you to tell me a little bit about your relationship and why we're in divorce court today. Okay, good afternoon, Your Honor. Good afternoon. Have you ever heard of the saying, he's a liar, he's a thief, and he's a cheat? Well, look that this up. This is divorce court. That's all I ever hear. Look that up. Look that up. No, 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 no. Let her finish. Let her finish. Look that up in the dictionary and bam. There he is. Bam. That beautiful face right there be smiled with them pearly whites. Yes, he's the epitome of liar. Tell me, a, tell me why I should believe that. Look at me, Your Honor. Look at me. Do it look like I would be such Seriously. Yes. Not, 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 Mr. I'm, Smith, I'm I've been listen. on the bench for a long time. I put a lot of people in jail. Some and of I have he, been to jail, but not, not for that, Your Honor. Your, Your Honor, I met him in jail. <laughs> you met him in I jail? I met him in jail. We have a pass. So both of you <laughs> were in jail when yes. you met? Yes. yes, Your Honor. And I woke up in the middle of the night one night, and my cellmate had her face in that toilet <laughs> with a magazine rolled up, and she was talking in the toilet, and I heard a male voice. I she said, oh, I'm talking to my boo upstairs. I was like, ew, that's I'm nasty. I'm talking to my boo upstairs. upstairs. The guy's upstairs. She I said, that's nasty, you know? and you're going to get she the heebie-jeebies on. on your mouth. Now, find <laughs> me somebody y'all can talk to. <laughs> so, you mean to tell me you were in jail? In jail. Your roommate was talking in the toilet. Talking and I think you're gonna sh I think you need to show me how that works. Because I've never you. been in jail. You want me to show you? Yeah, would you do that show you how before to do it, we now. move forward? You get a you get a knock on the wall. Yeah. That's the telephone ring. That's the telephone ring, That's okay. Telephone ring. <laughs> how you, you get, answer? You get your cup. You get your cup. Take all the water out. Take the water out. You pour it in the sink. Mm-hmm. Now all the people back in jail are gonna be mad at me for this. Mm -hmm. Ah! All the water goes. Yes. Now, I need to say, this was the best time I ever had in jail, too. You take all the water, you dump it out, take your towel, wipe it out, get you some paper, because you don't right. want to put your mouth in there. No, no. You know, you definitely don't want to do that. And you just say, hello. And it, and it carries through the pipe? Straight it's, down, like you're talking well, to me. How you. do you know where it's going? How do you direct the call? And that's, because, and... <laughs> listen, I'm going to explain how you direct the call. See, this is how the call's directed, Your Honor. Once I got on the boat with her, She's such a bully, <laughs> no one else could get on the boat. See? Yeah, because when you get on the boat, if, if somebody else is on the boat, it would intervene with me and you talking. Right. Because I was so special. So she's a bowl hog. No, yeah, 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 yeah. I guess, but I was good, I, I, I was a bowl hog, 
just I I like to talk to him. He had a ni I never I didn't know how he looked. Right. I, I just he had a nice voice and you know and it was something to do. I didn't have anybody. So you so, the woman that you were in there with was talking to another man and you said she never got to talk to somebody else to talk to through the through the pipe. And yes. she never got and to talk was again. Him. <laughs> Brings a whole new meaning to the term cell phone. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, Your Honor, that is the original cell phone. Listen, that listen. is the original. Your Honor, uh, all she did was so rap Ms. all day. So, Ms. Robinson, tell me how things progressed once you made contact. We would talk all, all through the night, and you know, I would sing to him. I was, you know, really entertaining him, and we had. You had a good time. We had a connection, and and over the month that we were talking through the toilet. I, I got hooked. I fell in love. I fell in love. And you know what so I told So who got out first? I got out first. I and got you, out you, first. And you went out and you waited on it. I went out. I waited on it. I told my family. I found this man. We started talking through the toilet. I'm yeah. in love. And they said, they know. said, the running joke in my family is you knew he wasn't going to be cracked because look how you met him in the crapper. <laughs> That's the running joke in my family. Now, now, Mr. Smith, when you got out, and First, she was already out. What did you see? Did you like it? And and how did it progress? Wow. Well, when I first saw, I was quite quite impressed. Of course. I was. Um, it progressed because you know, like, well, I didn't get out right away. Uh huh. Years right later, away. I waited years. How many years? Years. I did seven that time. Ninety-eight to two thousand four. Yes. You waited that I, long I, I, from you know, a it, man you only met through the it toilet? It wasn't a good, steady you know. wait, but I waited. Yeah, she it wasn't, wasn't a steady wait. No, it wait. wasn't no steady wait. That's I what you. I need to say. We wasn't married then, so it's irrelevant. <laughs> when Divorce Court continues, did Nathaniel cheat on Charlotte? I get a phone call from a friend. Oh, Nathaniel, he messing with so-and-so. When you drop him off the work, he be with her through the back door. So I never confronted him. I follows him. Are you dealing with baby mama drama or baby daddy drama that has you ready to divorce? Call toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com or become a fan at facebook.com slash divorcecourt. Divorce Court is back with the case of Charlotte Robinson, who met her husband talking through a toilet phone in jail and now is seeking a divorce after six years of marriage. But did Nathaniel go back to his jailhouse ways after he got married? Did you know why he was in jail? Yes, Your Honor, and I brought it all on myself. Yes, I did know he was in well, jail. Like this, Your Honor. Stealing, but I never thought he was going to steal from me. You got married, and I understand that problems arose within two weeks. Two Explain weeks. Two weeks. She had me, me locked up. Hang on. Hang on. Go I ahead. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I was in. I was out of town getting my car fixed. Right. Me and Nathan, you had an argument over the phone. He said, "I'm leaving." I said, "Bye. <laughs> go ahead. What you want me to beg, cry?" So I go home. He left. That's not so true. So after after two weeks of being gone, he would call and cry. He went, he he moved. He left me. I let him no, come back. I did. What happened? I uh, I left because we weren't getting along. Right. And I had a I have a son. Mm -hmm. I had never met him. Oh, you had a son that you never met. I had met. never met. So you went to so go I meet went to, him. I went to go meet my son. Right. So tell me how things progressed after that. G give me some examples of that would, would show me a picture of your life. So, Your Honor, everything is going good or whatever. So we get to a point where we move back to the other area that I relocated my whole family to move near him in a halfway house. Uh-huh. OK? So I get a phone call from a friend. Oh, Nathaniel, he um he messing with so and so. When you drop him off the work, he be with her <laughs> through the back door. And I was like, okay, well, I was wondering why the paycheck was a little short. So I never confronted him. I took him to work, parked around the corner. Sure enough, he go in the front. She pull up to the back. And he get in the car, and they pull off. I follows him about four cars back, because I'm an amateur detective. So you know, know how to stay back yeah, long enough so he can't see you. I know how to follow and search and <laughs> right? snoop. So I follows him, and you know, they get to the girl house, and no, they get out the car. I jump up. Hey, what's up? What, you know? 
Now, now, now Mr. Mr. Smith, she, yes, she painted a picture of you with, 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 with other people running around behind her back. What's going on? Oh, my God. Listen. Here come the lies. That's come on. Now, now, now I, I, I must admit, I've done some things that wasn't cool. Well, OK. I got to admit that. I appreciate your but honesty. But like, you, when you're not happy at home, why what you can happy? you do? Well, why aren't you happy at why home? Why you well, happy, let me tell you why, Yana. Let me tell you why. I cook for you, clean Ms. for Robinson, you. See, that's, you that's had why I'm happy at home. I, I would like you to be home. quiet. Yeah, sure. But Mrs. anyway, Yana, I moved out because she put me out. <laughs> so where I go ain't none of her business. What I do ain't her business. Who I sleep with ain't her business. You're wow. not my woman anymore. Stop, Mrs. You Robinson. put me out. If you put me out, that means that you don't, you're out. You're out. So who I sleep with is my business, correct? Come on, Yana. Well, I'm Help not, me out not here. listen, I'm not co-signing on anything I don't want you to do. Okay, so well, this is, why, just keep this, is why, this is what happened. I moved out. Just so happened, another young lady was interested. <laughs> hey, I'm a man. She was she was all right. So I had some fun. That's all it was. Okay. But I came back home. Mrs. Robinson, I want to ask you, why you keep letting him Because I love them. He was a good provider. He, like, he's so charismatic, and he has this I'm savoir best, Your Honor. faire. And, and she I, probably would take me back the, tomorrow, you know, Your Honor, the, if the I can't actually come back. It was good for how long it lasted. He was good to my children. He treated, you know, he, he was just a good man. But he That's was a I philanderer. Am, I'm a good he man. was a cheater. I haven't heard him do anything good yet. When Divorce Court continues, will Nathaniel own up to stealing the TV? I come home, I go to pick the remote up to turn the TV on. It ain't nothing up on that wall. He done took a 50-inch color TV, plasma out of the house Did you while take I was a playing cards. Television off the wall. If you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com and follow us on Twitter at Divorce Court. Divorce Court returns with the case of Charlotte Robinson, who wants to divorce her husband because she says he is a cheater. But is the real problem that after stealing Charlotte's heart, Nathaniel never stopped stealing? I wake up the next morning, Nathaniel is nowhere around. I'm the half of the money was gone. What were you in jail for? Theft, Your Honor. Did you know why he was in jail? Yes, Your Honor, I did know he was in well, jail. Well, listen to this, Your Honor. Stealing, but I never thought he was going to steal from me. I never thought, Your Honor, listen, I like the gamble. It's my money, I do what I want with my money. Right. So one day, I come home, you know how your house is dark, but you know where everything in your house is. Right. So I go for the coffee table to pick the remote up to turn the TV on. I'm pushing. I'm pushing. Nothing. I'm like, is the batteries dead? Like, what's going on? So I go and feel for the wall. I turn the, the light on. It ain't nothing up on that wall. A 50-inch, he done took a 50-inch color TV, plasma out of the house Did you while take I was a 50 playing cards. television off the wall? Yes, Because he was mad at her. <laughs> because he was mad at her. Listen, listen, Your Honor. Would you like to invoke your Fifth Amendment rights or something and just no. not say anything? I remember taking the TV, but I don't remember, uh... You don't know why? You don't know I, when? Upset, upset. Apparently, upset. You say he's he's taking a lot from yes. your, your home. Look, what has he taken one day, over the years? One day, one day, I come back from the card game. So I come in the bedroom. I tiptoe. I think he's asleep. So I tiptoe to my side of the bed. I take my rent money, Your Honor, and put it under the mattress under me, and I lay down and go to sleep. I wake up the next morning. Nathaniel is no where around. So I looked down mm -hmm. half the rent money was going. Then he tried Ms. to make me believe that I lost it playing cards like I didn't know what I put under the mattress. Mr. Smith, did you take the rent money? She lost it playing cards, Your Honor. I ain't take nothing. You sticking with the story? That's my story, and I'm it, sticking to it. I gotcha, I gotcha. <laughs> Mrs. You didn't uh, take the money from no, really? I did not. 
When divorce court continues, even though he is out of jail, is Nathaniel still up to no good? He cleaned the house out. I'm talking my living room, dining room set, our bedroom set, my computer with all my school files on it that's irreplaceable, the landlord's washer, dryer, The landlord's washer and dryer? Yes. The Mr. Smith, can you respond to that allegation? Divorce Court returns with the case of Charlotte Robinson and Nathaniel Smith, who met in jail and are seeking a divorce after six years of marriage. You are asking this court to reimburse you $6,500 for the following. Two plasma televisions, a half a month's rent, the refrigerator, the stove, the computer, and designer glasses. Please do not tell me this man walked off with appliances. <laughs> your Honor, Your Honor, this is what happened. September 30th, me and Nathaniel, I had made the decision that the marriage was over, right? I couldn't take the cheating and the lying. Okay. We sat down with the landlord. September 30th, I said, I'm leaving. We're separating. I'm moving back to Philadelphia. Please take my name off the lease. He's going to keep the house. When the landlord came, October 3rd, the house was empty. He cleaned the house out. I'm talking my living room, dining room set, our bedroom set, my computer with all my school files on it that's irreplaceable, the landlord's washer, dryer, The stove, landlord's washer and dryer? Yes. The Mr. Smith, can you, can you respond to that allegation? I really can't. <laughs> you would like to invoke your Fifth Amendment right to be silent. He was mad at me, because I left him. And Johnny, that's what he did. Please, John, listen. Look, I'm look, listening. Listen. And he said it's not personal. Me. Stop. It's not personal. Go ahead. I told totally you it ain't personal. It's I'm not listening. personal. It's never personal. She left. I left. Whatever happened to the stuff, I... Somebody, you do not know. The house must have been vandalized. It had to be. It wasn't well, you. I no. did not know anything about this. I'm in Philadelphia. I'm getting so my life. So did you talk to him after all of those things? You came back and all of those things were missing. Do you have an opportunity to speak to him about that? Your Honor, yes, I did. And you know how I found out? I got a judgment in the mail. I don't know how they even knew my address. If he told you me. You got a judgment in the mail. I got a judgment because the landlord sued me and him. Right. I've had a judgment in the mail for $3,900. So you, there's a judgment against you a for $3,900. I asked him what happened, and he said, it wasn't personal. You left me. What was I supposed to do? You know, I, I can't live without you. What am I supposed to do? So yeah, this I sold is... everything, and I left and went to Philadelphia, too. Like, that that was his. Did you admit to her you stole no, everything? She just sat here earlier and told you how much women is not a problem for me. Do you believe I told her that? You left me, I couldn't live without you, so I sold a washing machine. Why would I sell a washing machine? Because she left me. I didn't do it. Your Honor, this, he's the name. Okay, okay, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Listen, I don't know how you two get along in life at all. You got we out don't. of jail, and it's just chaos. We don't. And, Mr., and, and I don't know how tough it is out there for women, but apparently they're just lined up waiting to do anything for anybody. You go back to baby mama here, baby mama there, you go to jail, you got somewhere to go, somebody's always willing to marry you, take care of you. I can't imagine it. I would do bad all by myself before I went through all of that. Having said that, I will say this. I do not know who took what. I have your word, he has an admission. My gut is my man took it over there, but I, I can't mean, go by fire back. Now, no, no excuse Please, me, me at all. This time, yeah? The one thing I do believe is that you did get a judgment in the mail for $3,900, and I believe that you are responsible for half of that because you were there with her, you took off, and you left her holding the bag. She I think left. You, I think you lay, leave a lot of women holding bags and babies, and and, and, and shame wow. on you. Yes. Shame on you. I have a mother. I'm going to give you one like half that. of the $3,900, which I hope is $1,950 in favor of Mrs. Robinson. It is so ordered. <laughs> All right. Parties may leave the courtroom. After coming to divorce court and reliving all of the lying and cheating that Nathaniel did throughout their marriage, Charlotte was inspired to write a book about her life experiences and how to avoid relationships with men who lie, cheat, and steal. She has filed for divorce, and Nathaniel is dating another woman whom he plans to wed as soon as he becomes a free man.